from slipping and sliding down a city street to Richland firefighters providing our community with eats. These stories and so much more coming up next on Richland Now. Hello and welcome to the latest edition of Richland Now. I'm Gail Everett. After a very extensive search, we're thrilled to share that Zach Ratkai has accepted the position of Economic Development Manager for the City of Richland. Zach previously served as Richland Redevelopment Project Manager. He will oversee the Business and Economic Development Division of the Community Development Department. Zach has worked in various areas of local government in both Colorado and Washington. Congratulations, Zach, and we look forward to seeing your vision for Richland play out. Well, at the most recent Richland City Council meeting, Mayor Bob Thompson was presented with a $100,000 check from the Richland Library Foundation. The money will be used to construct a makerspace STEAM room in the library. STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Arts, and Mathematics. And to describe it simply, makerspaces are community centers with tools. Libraries all over the country have adopted the makerspace concept, understanding that it adds an experimental element to the traditional learning experiences libraries offer. For our library, the programming will include coding, math games, chess, electronics, and fiber construction. Well, our Richland firefighters are making news again for giving back to our community. Earlier this month, Richland firefighters teamed up with Second Harvest to provide a mobile food bank at the Uptown Shopping Center. It was staffed by off-duty Richland firefighters with visits from on-duty crews as call, volume, and workload allowed. The mobile food bank event was coordinated by the Richland Firefighters Community Outreach Program. The Community Outreach Program spent $1,000, which provided 8,500 pounds of food to be handed out free of charge to all that were in need. Well, nearly 8,000 pounds of food was distributed to over 200 households, and nutrition education was provided throughout the day as well. Well, get ready to celebrate our diversity. We invite you to join us for the first ever cultural fair at John Dam Plaza. The fair is scheduled for Saturday, July 16th from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. We will celebrate the mixture and uniqueness that surrounds us through the pageantry of performing arts and foods, bring blankets and lawn chairs, and enjoy performances by the Diamond Ridge Cloggers, Tri-Cities Chinese Folk Dancers, Choice Martial Arts, the Academy of Ballet, and more. There will also be visual displays from the Sons of Norway, Wanapum Native American Discovery Unit, and the Tri-City Outrigger Canoe Club. There'll be lots to see and do and eat. The food menu will also come tie in to the cultural theme. Enjoy Norwegian waffles, tacos, Thai food, and even hot dogs. Well, you never need an excuse to have a good time, and that's the motivation behind another new community event called Christmas in July. This party will be an exciting evening filled with land and water games, entertainment, prizes, and food. Come join us at George Prout Pool for a night in a winter wonderland, and who knows, maybe Santa will be able to take a break from his vacation and make a special appearance. Christmas in July is Friday, July 15th from 5.15 to 8.30 p.m. and costs just $4 for a Richland resident. Well, remember the glorious slip and slides of our youth? They were fun, right? Well, check this out. A 1,000-foot slick inflated vinyl slip and slide is coming to Richland, Saturday, July 23rd. In addition to the biggest slip and slide around, Slide the City also brings the party to the streets with live music, entertainment, and local vendors. You must be at least five years old or over 46 inches tall to participate in the fun. Our event will be held on Lee Boulevard and Welsian Way. Tickets can be purchased at slidethecity.com. You can buy single slides, triple slides, or all-day slides.
Well, over 650 geocachers from all over the United States, including Alaska and Hawaii, as well as Germany, Norway, and Canada, were in the Tri-Cities for the annual Tri-Cities Geocoin Challenge. The theme for this year's event was Mysteries of the Mid-Columbia. The event spreads out cachers all over Tri-Cities, searching for precious and hard-to-find treasures. Once a cacher completes all the tasks on their passport, they are eligible to receive the treasured geocoin. The event finishes with a cash-in, trash-out cleanup event. This year's event took place at Sacagawea State Park. Thanks to all who organized, volunteered, and participated in the seventh annual event. Well, I'm sure most of you are familiar with our amazing and popular market at the Parkway, Farmer's Market. But are you aware there's also a market at Barnard Griffin Winery? The Schreiber & Sons Farmer's Market is every Wednesday afternoon from 12 noon to 3 p.m. This is another great opportunity to get your hands on farm fresh, locally grown produce. And since you are already there, why not stay and enjoy lunch and a tasting on the patio from the kitchen at Barnard Griffin. They're located at 878 Tulip Lane in Richland. Have you checked out our new concert series called Let's Do Lunch? Enjoy your lunch in the sun with live music at the Hapo Community Stage every other Friday from 11.30 to 1.30 p.m. The next event is scheduled for July 15th and will feature music from Gabriel Knutson. From a sack lunch from home or visit the vendors at the Richland Farmer's Market, the food vendor trucks at John Dam Plaza, or any of the brick and mortar businesses in Richland. The idea is to relax, recharge, and re-motivate before heading back to work. Well, if you would like more information on any of the stories you've seen here, please visit the City of Richland's webpage at the link at the bottom of your screen. And if you're not interacting with us on social media, I strongly encourage you to follow and like us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. I'm Gail Everett. Thanks for joining me on this edition of Richland Now.